know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. What's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. And I am truly excited today. Um, I'm excited about the guests because this is a special show. Wow, now, finally. Now, I have said that 500 times before, but this time I really mean it. So, um, and we'll get to that in a second. First and foremost, Harry, how are you? I'm having a ball. Yeah. I'm having a ball in this motherfucker. You're just ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Um, yeah, and I have a tough time keeping these gators down. Uh, Dre is coming back. I got some messages. You did, all right. But I want to, you know, shout out to Dre. Uh, also, shout yeah. out to, you know, Andre D. Thompson. Check him out and check out his his podcast, Slouch Theory. Andre's actually on a writing gig for uh, mm. like Charlemagne, the, for Charlemagne the God talk show on Comedy Central. Check it's it out. I believe dope. it's on Friday nights. Yeah, I believe yeah, it's yeah. I'm, I'm I'm really happy for him, I'm, and I miss the fuck out of him. So. Um, but I, let's get into the guests. Um, this, uh, this is a weird thing. I, I, I got a little, I've always had a little crush on her. You know, I don't really have crushes often, but uh, a little crush on her. Um, really funny comedian, and she's actually running for mayor. Uh, right. So in, she's the, intelligent uh, too. She's smart, <laughs> in theory, pretty, and running and, for mayor. Um, running as a libertarian party. Uh, give it up for Stacey Pressman, y'all. Give Stacey. it up. Stacey. Hey, I'm so What's flattered. I'm, so I'm blushing. Uh, you're, <laughs> sweetie. you're such a sweetie. I've always enjoyed your company. Always, Same always, here. always. Um, crazy stuff. I haven't seen you since uh, before the COVID. Yeah. Right? Before the COVID struck and uh, 2019 the plague. 20. You came and you were, you stopped by. I was hosting at Greenwich Village Comedy Club. Yeah, yeah. And you came by, we said hi, we took yeah. some pictures, and I then the, then the world, I went to and, LA and they came back and the world closed. And the world, world went to shit. So yeah. It's good, it's really good to see you. I, I, I'm just finding out today that you're running for mayor yeah. on the Libertarian Party. First thing, <laughs> tell me, because I, I've been trying to figure out this Libertarian thing for a while. What is Libertarian? Because every time I try to go okay there's a libertarian and i ask a libertarian they always tell me that every other libertarian doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about <laughs> and they know what it is and then that's uh, that's actually the official uh plan, the plan political the liber- statement yeah. Yeah. It's like we don't know who the fuck we are right 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 uh well i think to me uh, as far as larry sharp put it the best you could be as conservative conservative as you want or liberal as you want uh it's like respecting each other's beliefs uh, there's the, the party does have standards of what they believe in. They believe in open borders. That's one of their stances. Free, free, uh, pro-choice, uh, you know, gay, lesbian, trans rights, all that mm. stuff. They believe that. Mm. Um, they believe in Second Amendment. That's a huge. Thing. I've also heard there's a lot of libertarians that are like constitutional libertarians. Some uh, some people that don't believe in any any government organizations which is really nuts because you you're yeah you, I anarchists yeah so, like there's the a anarchists. lot of caucuses there's, yeah it's like they're division they're divided up they're, you can, I heard it's like four well, four divisions of it no basically. hundreds like oh, there's hundreds yeah. I mean there's they, they just keep creating caucus I'm just like a centrist I, I'm like mm-hmm. I'm like do what you want leave me alone let's have you know no uh, less bureaucracy in our city in our country uh love each other stand you know don't bother each other 
I live my life. You live your life. Don't tread on me. That's how I. That's my view of a libertarian. Okay, exam. let me ask you this though. So here's. Um, I really want to get into this because I'm. Sure. I, this is my other the passion. Sex? Okay. Well, well, well <laughs> I, that is my passion as well. Um, but uh, I, it's fucking in politics. Yeah, that's your two. Fucking in politics. I'm in. You, you know passions. what? Being a politi- politician, I have to say, you feel more of like a whore as a politician than a comedian. Really? Yes. Or an actor. I've never felt more like a. In what way? Why so? That. I don't know. You just kind of have to like ask for money all the time from just for no, you know, yeah. donate to my campaign, donate, donate, yeah. which is fine. You have to do a, you have to donate to the campaign. You have to have money to be able to run. It's it costs us, you know, thousands of dollars, tens yeah. of thousands of dollars to get on the ballot alone. Right. Um, uh, it just feels different. I don't know. It feels. What's like, the What's the first step if you somebody wanted to run for mayor? What's the first step? Um. Well, for me, I you know you can run independent. You can run in a party. Uh, you, you declare, then you go to the board of, you fill out lots of paperwork with the board yeah. of elections, you open a bank account, uh, you have a treasurer and start raising money, you start, mm-hmm. uh, you make sure you do all your paperwork correctly for, for this. Do you need signatures first? Yeah, or? that's later on. Okay. To get on the ballot. Okay. And How then, many signatures do you have to have? We had to get like four or 5,000 signatures. Uh-huh. Uh, depending on what you know, at what party you are and stuff like that. So yeah, you get a lot, thousands of signatures. Different offices, you have to get a different amount of signatures. Right. And then you just campaign, make appearances, talk. You know, go to mayoral debates. Mm. A lot of them for me were online because of the pandemic. So that made it a little bit. Well, it's also kind of a weird thing now because um, uh, with new media. Now everything being online and internet and YouTube and stuff. I mean, some of these, some of these dudes like Kyle Kalinske, like, hmm. uh, like uh, David Pakman, like Tyt, like Young Turks. All these guys are their, their platform is just as big as right. as news, and, and sometimes in, even bigger in cases because everybody everybody's doing it on the phone, you know. So it's 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 just like comedy in, that is so different in that. It, everything is online based, and how do, how does that affect? Which simplifies you? it to a degree. Yeah, it, it also yeah. removes the gatekeepers. You know, you don't have to. Yeah. You know, if you can if you can build uh, money and, and build a following in uh, independently, you can just kind of move forward. Yeah, I uh, mean, you can build. I mean, basically, it's there's a, there's like a lot of organizations that hold forums where you where you you don't really argue, but you give your stance on different. They're sort of like debates. Mm-hmm. So I've debated. All the Democrats so far, except for Yang. Mm-hmm. And um, Eric Adams, like, I agree with Stacey. I said that many times in many of the debates. Cause mm-hmm. They didn't see me as a threat. Now that we're moving forward, I'm the, you know, the Libertarian Party is the third largest party in the country. Right. So it's creating a different feel. The, it's starting to heat up more. Right. And uh, Are you the only Libertarian yes, who's running? of course. Mm-hmm. So you're the only one that, there's no other, like, we had our We had our um, you had your co- convention, caucus, yeah. a caucus convention. And so Libertarian Party is a big party, yeah. especially now. Yeah. How many people? So how do you say? end up on top? I just... How many people and how worked, do you I just worked my way. I, I, I like didn't. Stacey no one likes to be on top. I like That's to be true. on top. Right. I just, That's true. I just uh, had a great... Uh, Larry Sharp, who's very well respected. He ran for governor. Mm-hmm. He, he did well He did well in New York. Um, he He's my senior advisor, so mm-hmm. he just... We was pushed forward, got national, you know, endorsement, and that's how it works. Wow. It just was something I wanted. I manifested it. I actually said back... Many years ago, about 2014, 15, I said, I want to run for mayor. And they were, like, laughing at me. I said it on a radio show when I used to do it with Reverend Bob Levy. And, mm-hmm. you know, we made they made funny memes and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then I actually did yeah. it. Right, right. I right. manifested it. Uh, I believe in that. Not Even though I'm not, like, a, a weird crystal what person. Was your, what was your platform? What was the thing that made, made you want to run? Or was it, was it just that everybody else was so shit? Or what? what I, mean? I just, this is before we had a shitty de Blasio. Um. I'm a big animal rights person. I feel that our city isn't run smoothly. I've been living here my whole life. I see all the crap, the subways, the mm. bureaucracy, the the junk that we have, the wasted money mm. that's not getting down to the people that really need it, our homeless problem that never, ever got solved. Mm-hmm. Our yeah. school system sucks yeah. compared yeah. to when I went to school. It's gotten so much worse. So. I want to make it. I wanted to make a difference, and I yeah. wanted to put my platforms out there, and hopefully, maybe, uh, if I win, that'd be amazing. And I hope that these platforms go forward. Wow, that's dope. That's really dope. Um, 
I feel like I should run for something. You should. <laughs> yeah. It's just a lot of work. It's a lot you of run, Don't you run these streets? I do run these streets, right. players. That's my understanding. Like, the I best do. thing, wait, I should have started with city council. That yeah. would have been a lot better, but I can go. You went in the deep end. I went right. I went yeah, for the big time. That's yeah, me. Yeah, I Stacey go big loves go going home. deep. I, feel you. I, I don't feel you. do things small. Yeah. I've noticed that, but... It was fun. It's fun. I, feel I like have. Stacey likes it big. She likes it big, and too, she goes not deep. Not too big. I would run for president otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. dope. Um, it, th- so uh, Stacey and I've been friends for a long time, and uh, just always, always a fucking hottie. Uh, Stacey's a cutie. She's cutie. a cutie, and also sweet. Just very sweet. Very and nice. sweet. Yeah, yeah. And kind. Always um, and funny. And funny. Yeah. And All right. That comes in third. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> we put that third. Well, I mean, well, you know, I guess it's, uh, I, I was no in no order. That's true. You know. That's true. Motherfuckers have called me big first. That's true. Ladies and gentlemen, this next comedian, he's big. <laughs> he's, he's big, uh, tough. He is black. He is black as well. <laughs> uh, and Jude. funny. And funny. Also funny. Uh, Dante Nero. Did you lose your glasses? Yeah, You're right? I'll find them. I don't need that one. Find Aren't they right here? No, those, oh, those are Those are my two glasses. My Those are my Harry's shaded. girly <laughs> glasses. They're not probably girly. Just, they're tinted. They're Excuse me. Here. I'm fine. I don't need them. It's called fashion. Okay. All right. Uh, fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. Fashion. Uh, all right. So how does being a, uh, the, the comedian thing, beneficial or or because, I mean, you... I missed... You know, it's, I get so serious when I do these debates. I yeah. want to make jokes. I'm like, but if you take, say, one thing, everyone get, will, like, take it the wrong way. No one and gets irony, no one gets humor. Yeah. So you're, you know, so I have to be so, I'm like so serious. Right. Uh, so I'm, I, I miss, you know, doing stand up has been such a relief. I had a show on Saturday and yeah. I was like, I'm, I just like let loose. And I, I'm the so other, honest on stage too. I don't, I don't hold anything back. So I have to watch myself. The other thing is, I did a show with Stacy, I think last Friday or if I forget. Yeah. And Stacy was, uh, she worked blue. Oh. She worked blue. She worked a little blue. She did work very blue. Uh, and not a mayoral candidate blue. No, <laughs> and very, she, blue, blue, blue. I, I went. Mean, I went all the way. You yeah. went all the way, as as Stacy's known to do. So I mean, is that does that affect it yet? Have people started trying to post clips? Are you not that much of a threat yet to them? I'm not a threat. I mean, look, I don't. I'm not being. I'm not offending anybody in terms of like who I am. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not racist. I'm telling this. This is my truth. Like right, the, right. I'm yeah, telling yeah. my fucking truth. Right. This is not me saying and these kinds of people are bad. That's, being a libertarian. It They're kinda, already nuts. It kinda, yeah, right. yeah. It's it hard to leaves offend it open. the libertarians. It, the whole point is live and let live, and 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 so it, it kind of it, it kind of fits. Do you right. know what I mean? Mm. And my blue is kind of it's more sex. It's more. Yeah. I, I don't talk about anything like people nowadays get really offended with race and religion and sexuality, and not sex, but you know. You know, gay, trans. Yeah, yeah, labeling that, or whatever. That yeah. stuff. But I just talk about my own sexuality and my own stuff. So, yeah. You know, fuck that. You yeah. know, it's my shit. Right, this is right. me. And I got to deal with it. And you Let, certainly did that night. Yeah. Uh, and I talk about like the real yeah. in real time. Like it's not like I yeah. have these jokes. These are like in real time. These are real this things that happened. are happening to her. Like yeah, the, as today. Well. Like I'm like a today comic. Yeah. Like, I'm like I said well, on stage. Like you told me a story Friday after the show. Uh, yeah. yeah. He, he wouldn't tell me the story. He says he's gonna wait for you okay. to come to tell me. I want the story. I want Stacey to tell me the story. This, sure. this is interesting. Um, about the guy I dated somebody. <laughs> sure. Um, As you're known to do, I'm which known is to all right. Do. It's 2021. You know, I, went, you know I, I've been going on. You know, I went online and met people, which is like, everyone I've been meeting is absolutely out of their mind. Like right. every time, I, I mean, I'm not even saying that they seem really normal the first few months. And I'm not. To, and look, we knew, we're comics. I know some fucked up people. <laughs> right. They're out of their fucking. So you're gourds. saying abnormal even I'm not for to, the. They're like they're like they, they put these like. Uh, these masks on, you know, facades. Right, right, right. I yeah. don't mean like, you know, like, yeah, like facade. a facade. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then they, it all falls down and yeah. it can't last for very long. Yeah. But they're not like charming. They're just like, they just, you realize they're dumb. You realize they're just like, well, I, you know, I say this all the time that comics are some of the smartest people that I'm, I know. Yeah. I mean, the, there's a certain Even level, the dumb ones are smart. Even the dumb one, yeah, I was going to say that. Even the no dumb ones are smarter in- than like Your the regular Joe, people. Yeah. There, because there's a there's a level of, in order to do comedy, there's a level of, uh, there's a level, level of awareness that you have to have in order to be funny because if you don't know what the audience is, is thinks or perceives you then the funny comes from knowing what they perceive and either going against it or going or or admitting to what they perceive in the first place right and so you as a comic you have to have that ability to be aware of 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 what 
the surroundings are and and just be in in the moment um and what you find what i find so often is that um regular people like you said are normies always, yeah they're <laughs> civilians they're always putting on an air to kind of be perceived as something that they're really not so that they can actually mm. be in a conversation that they don't necessarily deserve to be in right Whereas comics, a lot of times, even if they they either think they know and they're out of their fucking mind, or they'll go, I don't know nothing about. That. I don't. I don't. That's know me. Who. I'm like, I don't know. Tell me. Yeah. But, yeah. Like I like that. Like we, we're curious. Yeah. Like if you, I don't know something, I'm like, tell me about it, and then I'll yeah. learn a new thing. I'm not going to pretend to know right, it. Right. I rather you tell me and I learn about it. Right. We'll and also I, admit that we don't know shit about something. Like, yeah. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know shit, shit about like, any I, of that. I mean, yeah. this mayor only except I, for Voss. Yeah. Except for Rich Voss. I know. I'm just, yeah. I'm kidding. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you were dating. So you're dating this this guy. I guess he yeah. was a civilian. A civilian, yes. And what happened? It was a while ago. Okay. Um, and uh, for all intents and purposes, for, for a statute, I, you know, for I don't the know statute of limitations. Statute, yeah. statute of limitations. Well, I have a, another story after that. But okay, perfect. So, um, basically, like things were going well. He was like kind of love bombing me, but he didn't say love, but like sending me flowers and like, mm. like. You know, it's, you know, really like it was. Are fun. you a flower person oh. or no? Look, look jack just, off. Stacy just did the jack off motion. <laughs> you can see. If you want to send me flowers, it's nice. I mean, I went to the show down in Florida, and this like stalker guy sent me like hundreds of bouquets of flowers. So I, mm-hmm. it, it was traumatic. Like I didn't know who who it was. Yeah. All of a sudden, one day, and he, it was down in Florida. He found my address, mm-hmm. and then next thing I knew, because we had a great show, and he really loved the show, we did vagina monologues, mm. and I did a fake orgasm. So I guess he got turned on. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it was like an older dude. And he kept telling, and like I got in front of my door in my apartment building at the time, hundreds. I mean, I'm not kidding. Like it must have been ten thousand dollars worth of like crazy flowers. Really? And I kept giving them away. They, I was like, this, it looked like someone died. And my my la- my landlord asked me if someone died. I mean, it was yeah. really sad. So right. yeah, so Stop. flowers to me aren't. I don't mind them. Like there's a time and place, right? Like yeah, yeah. there's a time and place. It's a couple here. Can and be you don't romantic, do that though. if I don't know you. It's well, we like were dating for like a month. Oh, you were dating him, so he wasn't just a, a stalker. Well, there's two separate no, this stories. Actress, oh, oh, that guy, that oh, was a stalker. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. All that right, was all like right. 2000. Whatever. I thought she was like, oh, the stalker. We no, dated for a little while. I was prefacing why yeah. I don't like flowers that much because yeah, yeah, I was okay. traumatized by this. Right, it was like okay. at first, the first 10,000 were overwhelming, but after yeah, the second yeah, 10,000 yeah. finally got to me, I gave it. And her. then I broke up with a dude, like, and I he sent me a flower. I'm like, why? I just broke up with you. I don't want a flower. Anyway, and I threw it. I threw it away. So this. This guy was love bombing you a little bit. He a was little giving... bit, like like. I hope this is our last stop together. You know that kind of talk. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm under immense amounts of stress. Right. right. I have this campaign. I'm dealing with trying to figure out. You know, like getting my comedy back as I'm running this campaign because I want COVID to make COVID going on. We have COVID going on. Yeah. I have an elderly mother that I'm taking, you know, I care of most of the time, you know, so I'm. Yeah, I'm dealing, a lot you know, going on. You know, it's like there's a lot of shit going on right, at our right. age. Like there's shit. Yeah. Taking care of myself, making sure I'm like eating well and sleeping well. You know, yeah. I'm very like into that. So, you know, I just like to be like liked, and I like that. It right. makes me feel like good. It makes yeah. it gives me the you know. Yeah. Every, we all like to be liked, and you know, and, and it was going well. And he seemed intelligent, and he was kind of in touch with himself. What does that mean? What? <laughs> She gets, between the jack off hand signals and the in touch. air quotes, the air quotes, yeah, yeah. Just put it this way, Don. Did he uh, soft? He's a pussy. Mm-hmm. Well, I called him a pussy. I'll tell you why. Uh, oh, this is getting better every All right, day. Um, I call. I did call him a pussy. So, and I loved it. Uh, my, but I loved calling him pussy better. Oh, okay. um, so basically, he he basically was a, a life coach, but that wasn't his real job. Like he had a regular job in like mm-hmm. an office, and he made decent money. But he wanted to be a life coach. Which okay. Right there. He, he signed up for the and he paid all the money to be a life coach and paid more well, like uh, you know those certificates you get oh, yeah, online yeah, yeah. like okay. you take a class like for six months right. and then you get a fucking thing and then you, okay, so then, you ha- then you help other fucked up people right right but they're fucked up shit and you're even more fucked up yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. like you shouldn't be telling people should not be paying you go get a psycho be a psychologist to go to fix, get fix a your social shit. work thing yeah. yeah get a master's bitch you know yeah. anyway I'm gonna get really angry because get a master's degree yeah. all right so then anyway so we're dating so the last week, you know, like I spent like two or three weekends. Like, you know, we dated for like almost a month and a half, two months. So we had one weekend I spent. It was very lovely. It was relaxing. And the dude loved cover bands. Like, we went to cover bands, which make me nauseous. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like so designer imposters. Now, did you 
say, of did like you say that, that you hate cut or did you just I just go I was it? like it was fun to do so like I just haven't done shit right okay I'm like laughing you just like, wanted to get the fuck what? out the house you're like, I want to get the fuck out the house I motherfucker so you're, at that point you're willing to go see another one bites the dust the queen tribute Wait, that's band. what I said we did see that is that what okay. we saw <laughs> boom stone pony um, we <laughs> stole pony in Asbury Park. Of course, and every oh, other middle aged freak. And I'm like, I just want to get out of the house, right? And then we saw this other band, which like a guy just singing from his iPad. It was crazy. <laughs> so I mean, whatever. It was like something to do. Uh-huh. And but you're not reciprocating this lovely feeling. You're not love bombing back. Well, I'm just being like, you know, liking like, it. I'm yeah, liking it. Like, but I, like, I, like, I, like, being... I like that you like me. And I like you too. I'm attracted. Uh, you know. Sure. Um. So, and he's always like, I hope this is last up for both of us at the beach. I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, all right. All right. What's well, last up? We're on the, on the, on the what? The fuck? You, you train? I don't know what he's talking about. Last yeah. up. <laughs> like, we're going to get married? What, what do you mean? Yeah. It's Coney Island. Then That's he was like, he had stop. kids and he's like, you know, I'm like, you know, then I'm like, he's like, Stacy did, uh, she did it, her own production of Grease, but it went, <laughs> it went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> she ruined the summer loving. Yeah, had me no blast. Yeah, so <laughs> this is your summer had... romance, but it's not going well. You're, it was like the end of like summer romance. It's like a mediocre romance. The kind Labor of Day romance. The Labor Day romance, I call it. The lab- is so funny. Last so, call before the winter type yeah. of romance here. Yeah, okay. winter kills. Uh, he didn't know who Suzanne Vega was, and that was a turn off. Anyway, okay. I'm, I'm like, you don't know my name is Luca? Yeah, you don't know Tom Ziner? What kind of retard are you? I'm sorry. Right. I don't mean retard people in a, in, a, in a slow way. I mean like in a guy that I date way. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to offend people. I got canceled. All right. So, anyway, so... We're, That'll only get you more votes in the Libertarian so Party. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we have two nights. Like, the last night we go out. Yeah. Uh, I'm at his house for the weekend. He lives in another state. Mm. I'm not going to say the name. I'm going to assume it's Jersey based on the Stone Pony, but I'm just going <laughs> to... I don't... I don't. I didn't say that, Harry, but you can uh, make your... Yeah. In- anyway, we took the turnpike. And, we took uh, the turnpike. He's the boss. We had some Taylor ham right before we moved <laughs> And we we go to this, so we go we stop we stopped at these different bars, and the last bar we stopped was a comedy club play, a place they do comedy. I'm like, oh, my friend Joe might be here, but they the show was canceled, okay. and it was like, and then we ended up staying at the bar and having even more wine. Mm-hmm. So um, they some some guy comes over to us and like talks to him. He didn't know anyone at the bar, and starts talking to him like he's picking him. It was like 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 too much, like weird. Uh, like he was hitting on him, hitting on him, or being too friendly, but ignoring me. But okay. he knew he did... did he did your... not know this guy. Okay. It was like a bar he'd never gone to. Okay. Right. I've been there to perform. But it was like the guy's gaydar went off and he was like, mm, this is something I could probably snatch I don't up. know. It was weird. It was like okay. bizarre. Because this guy was kind of cute. and like He gave you the Heisman and then talked to your uh, <laughs> I've never boyfriend had a guy or whatever you like wanted to find. I've never had a guy to both of us. You yeah. know right. what I'm saying? Right, Even right. if you want my boyfriend. Like it's, right, right. It's like, all right. Mm. But, or something. Maybe he thought he had drugs. Who the hell knows? Okay. Anyway. So he's like, let's play darts. He goes, they have darts, and he, the guy that I was dating, like, was a dart player. He was on a dart league. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's really fun. Let's go play darts. I, I dated a girl that was uh, did professional karaoke. Well, at least she's like, a singer. A karaoke team. Like a, was like, she a good singer? She was a good singer, yeah. but it was like they would do, uh, like. Props and shit. It was just all oh, fucking awful. <laughs> just like, Did you uh, have to go watch it? Yeah, I went like once, and I was like, I, I'm well, like, just sing in a band. Like, she's on a team. If like, you're talented, just sing. Like, do it for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but a lot of people are, they don't wanna. They want to do stuff, but they don't want to know whether they're not good if they're not good enough. So they do it to the point where no one's judging. It's like, it's just like and she was, she was, she was a comic, so she would do bringer shows, but. She would like do bringer shows, and then so for those who don't know, if when you start out as a comic, if you want to do shows, if you bring people, you could get on stage. Right. But she would bring thirty-five people. I'm like, produce your own shows. Right. It, and but they would all come to see her, and they would, and then they would be on Facebook. Girl, you killed it. Blah, blah, blah. But it's like that. No. How did you do, deal with that? Because you must like you're like you didn't kill it. Well, well I, you did because you know how I am. I'm not. You're like, I, you did not kill it, bitch. I was like, look, the, you, I would be like... I just picture date- you with a uh, newspaper, putting down your newspaper, your bifocals going, 
you didn't kill it. And then just raising your newspaper <laughs> I, back I, up. I, but really, if I dated a guy with a bringer, you, and, 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 and his friends, I'm like, oh, no, that joke wasn't well, good. Well, I was, <laughs> I was fine with the fact that she was doing she it. She was hot, But she, well, yeah, she was smoking hot. Yeah. But I knew she, that wouldn't, be a thing. she wouldn't do... So I would, I would like, I would come over and I would be like, "Yo, did you do an open mic today? How many times you been on stage? Right. How many times you get on stage? How many shows did you do? How many?" And oh, I didn't. And then she would do this bringer show, and then she she would uh, do the accolades. It would be yeah for the accolades, and then it would go to shit again. It would be, but never really trying to escalate. Well, that's interesting you said that because bringers are very different than people who are actually doing stand up because. Yeah. If you're not doing open mics all the time and those book little shows, yeah, yeah, shit shows, and, and then you do bringers just for your tape, yeah, when you're starting out, right? So I'm like, I don't understand why that's a, that's that's what they should be doing, right, right? The bringer shows are just the thing that you do for the tape, right? That shouldn't be the only performances yeah, you're doing. People exactly. don't know, yeah, exactly. they don't people know. People don't know. But then... if you're just doing it for the accolades, and uh, then you, you, and I was just like, and then I really got to the point, where I was like, stop telling people you're a comic. Ooh. I was like, you're not a comic. You're very you, offended you, almost. You're it. offended. I said, because you know what we did. Oh, my God. Every night, on th- every show, anywhere. Yeah. And even if you didn't get up, you went out to try to get up, and you sat in the back of the room <laughs> hoping you That's could get up. That's how I met you. We yeah. were doing... Uh, Yes. You're a comedy club. And I, we were getting real spots back then. Back and forth, no. back and forth. back. I'd watch you. I'd watch this one, that one, this yeah. one. I'm like, oh, that part. You know, I, I learned watching yeah. people, too. Yeah. How to yeah. deal with the crowd. Yeah. Like, you just, I, being around the best comedians in the city, that's what yeah, we That's did. how you get better. Right. That's, that's the thing about, like, LOL and those other, and, and Ha, they would have all these shit comics who would go on, and then you would never really know what real good comedy looks like because no. you You'd be stuck. That happened to a lot of those dudes out in, like, not. I mean, Bob Levy and 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 those guys would get stuck in that little group. bridge and tunnel, Jersey and then, Road yeah. sort of situation. Yeah, the road. Florentine, with, with those Florentine was the best of those dudes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he broke out and, and started doing real shit. Voss was in that group too. Voss, Voss, Voss yeah, but great. Voss, yeah. Voss did the became selling. New York. Yeah, Voss yeah. and Norton did New York. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and but, I guess uh, Florentine did too to some yeah, degree. He did. But, yeah, Florentine yeah. worked. Yeah, but then then they're not the best. They just went to New York. Yeah, like they they're not Jersey guys. Right. Maybe right. Bob Levy was the best like of the. They all have that that raspy voice. Yeah. That's also like in Boston. It's like all the dudes in Boston. It's, there's this clique in Boston. Yeah. That where they're the that, king oh, they're of, gonna do Boston. Yeah, and then the the they were big in Boston for yeah. the eighties, especially. Yeah. Yeah. But this guy. So wait. So we're getting lost on track. This guy was shooting darts. We're mocking his dart shooting. Yeah, because he's a dart player. So All right. you're but on a date with bar, this guy. Your my, beloved. We, we, we're saying, I'm saying, I could talk to anybody. So some dude comes over to me, he's 39, telling me about his girlfriend and this and that. And then he didn't really hit on me. And, and then the, 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 the wait, waitress just kept pouring me wine because he knew the guy was going to pay. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know. You know when you just you sit in there like, blah, 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 you know, and I'm drinking. I must have had like 10 glasses of wine that night all together. Wow. And I can't drink. I'm not a big drink. I'm not a good drinker. Oh, like, but I wasn't, I didn't make a fight. I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't feel like that great, but whatever. So that, I was like kind of, then I went over to him like, hey, can I play darts? Can I watch you? And they didn't like really. So then I just went back down. Then we go back. So they're like, get away. Get away. Get away. Kind of. But usually, Take your vagina and beat it. <laughs> but he, but the thing was, if you were to do that, let's say you would say, come with me, watch me. I would me. go, come. Like, I would pull you in. Yeah, yeah. Then I'd check I'd, this I'd, out. I'm almost I'd winning. I'd le- let you lean back on yeah. you and just, then you, we could throw the he dart. He goes, it's a serious yeah. game. I'm and like, what I, kind of fucking serious? What are you, it's curing darts. cancer? You're doing yeah. surgery with the mm. dart? What the fuck? Yeah. Like you just open heart surgery with a dart. I'm like you just you're throwing darts at two o'clock in the morning. It can't be How that fucking serious, serious is it? Yeah. What are you betting money? I don't know about. Well, anyway. a down low gay dude who's yeah. trying to fuck you on the low. It's I like, was like, what the hell? So anyway, I was like, all right, but I, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't angry, but I, looking back, it yeah, just, yeah. So then we were in bed at night, and I was at a little bit like I was, I was like kind of blacked out, drunk, not black, but like. <laughs> But Stacey's some kind. Brown, brown, brown out brown drunk. Out drunk. <laughs> brown out drunk. <laughs> like I basically. You had brown, a rolling brown out? I was a yeah. rolling. Yes. I was brown out drunk. And he's, you know, we started having sex. You know, I was like. Ugh. Sex any good? It was pretty good. The sex was good. But he was, it wasn't, it was good. I mean, it wasn't, nothing was wrong with the sex. It was just, it was good. It was whatever. It was whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Is that what, great or is it good? You know, it's like, it, I don't know. What makes good sex? Like if you're not mentally stimulated and it, you know, so the physical action was good, but you didn't have an emotional like connection. Like I wasn't, you wasn't into I didn't the feel guy. Like you I weren't didn't, into the guy, but physically he. Kinda... I thought he was good looking, and I liked the way it felt, but it was just that that certain. The oomph. 
The I don't know how to explain the it. Connection. It's the mental. I think the mental there was part. no connection. Yeah. The, yeah, no, yeah. the real connection, that it's real the chemistry, Harry. The chemistry. You love that word. Oh, the Jesus, chemistry, like, like, word. like, like, put this way: if I would t- masturbate, that wouldn't, would, I wouldn't think about that. Okay. And nothing oh, okay. was wrong with them. It was just that it wasn't. Right, right. It was okay. just I don't know how to. It wasn't like. Uh, it was like good diner food. It was fine. Right, filled got the, uh, the job done. Like, like ch- chicken parm. Yeah, like a, a chicken parm at a diner. Yeah. Right. You know, right. like... Right. I didn't, I didn't, get, get, a, didn't get sick. No salmonella. All right. it, it, it's Three and a half perfect. stars. <laughs> Three and a half stars. Right. I'm not, yeah. It wasn't It wasn't. he did. It, okay, yeah, yeah. He's fine. So anyway, you're killed. having sex. We're having sex, and I'm like, I don't know. He said, to, He said. so I was... Now you have to realize it's black. That. I said, I said, you're, I said, do you love me? <laughs> and he goes, he didn't, I don't know what, I don't really know what he said, because I was drunk. <laughs> you were browned. I was browned. brown out. But then I go, you're inside of me and you can't tell me you love me? <laughs> like a real drama queen I am. Uh. And most guys would be like, oh God, shut the hell up. You know, you're drunk. And, you would, have, and you would have laughed it off because you're a comic. Like, yeah. I was like, oh God, was I really being, because I could be a drunk, I can get very dramatic. I want to commit suicide. My life has holes, my soul has holes in it when I get drunk. I write poetry. That, you oh know. no, that's the worst sign. You that's put that like, third. Right. I put, you just I, let I, off with suicide I, and you're like, and worst I, of all, poetry. I write poetry. We got a couple of bottles of wine here. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> crack it up. Let's get some poems going. I get I get dramatic and I, like, I'm a real drama queen. Uh-huh. You know, I don't like hurt anybody. So then he goes... He goes, I, and I don't remember what happened. So he sleeps in the other room. Then the next morning, I wake up. So you got into like a fight because I guess so. I don't know. You don't oh, know. Yeah. You we were browned out. That goes, was the rolling brown out. The ro- he goes, you traumatized me last night because oh, I boy. thought I'd never see that part of you. I said, what, what part did you see? Of me? <laughs> he goes, I said, can you? And he wouldn't tell me what I said. Uh, I thought I said, you're, you know, mean like horrible things. Like I don't, you know, I know, but little I dick motherfucker. Yeah. He didn't have a little. Look, I, I wouldn't say I know what I say. Right, like right, right, right. it's always like loving things, or maybe I'm too right. like maybe I said love you. You know, like you're maybe not an angry drunk. Right. I could be, but that wasn't. <laughs> not, well, not when your dick is inside of me, unless it hurts. <laughs> Harry's trying to throw you he's a line. Right, you're like, right, nah. Yeah. No, no, I'm, most definitely I'm not. Right here. I, I am an <laughs> asshole. We also had anal sex, which I never had before. Anyway, nice. okay. that night. Yeah, that part you do remember. remember. Yes, you do. Well, you don't usually forget that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Talk about a brownout. That was a brownout. Yeah. But uh and I, yeah, so I was like I don't know what I was like really taking risks. Oh, okay. Way. You're walking the wild. I was the walking wild the wild. So I was really Where's this corkscrew? I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> we got I was the like out glass? of my mind. I can't believe you said I had anal sex on the, on the air. My mother thank God she doesn't listen. I can't believe you said it in front of my girl the first time meeting her <laughs> 2 minutes Did she in. Think I was insane? Um no because she's said, now you she's been around she's, enough she's comedians. Been around I, said comedians him, I, I said to his girlfriend she's adorable by the way. Yeah, thank you. I loved her. She was like Anyway, which made it even crazier. Yeah, as we're walking, she whispered it. By the way, as we're walking down an abandoned Coney Island street, like I have the two of them behind me, and I'm like, we're walking through the Warriors, and I just got my head back and forth, and I'm half with half an ear. I just hear Stacy goes, "We had anal sex." To my girl, I have no, I have no filter. You know that. Yeah. So, um, after that, he he got very upset. He was traumatized. He said he was traumatized. He that word. So he got anal sex and then still got traumatized. By He's my a big pussy. Right, so mm-hmm. I said, I'm, so he goes, I'm very highly sensitive, and I said, I, I said, did I say anything mean to you? He goes, no. I said, then what, what? I said, what's, what's the so thing? then he finally told me on the phone, after he processed it, he goes, <laughs> and again, air quotes, <laughs> <laughs> he processed it. Processed said, it like comedy, a bitch. Like comedy breaks women. Yeah, it does. Like, the, it, it makes <laughs> them, it, the, it, it pulls back the curtain where you can't you will not fuck with a female comic and and they will won't call you on your shit. Yeah. Gina Brown, a good friend of mine. I love Gina. Uh, oh, and look at Rachel finds Rachel used to uh have sex with her in post coitus and she used to just throw change on his chest. Hey, you know, like, get out, right? She would throw hit him in the chase with nickels. I love it. Um G- Gina yeah. Used to blow her dude and go, is this thing on? <laughs> she, she, we, she, oh, I've done that one with my ex husband. <laughs> yeah, stupid. yeah, we like we fuck around. Yeah. Like, don't sure, fuck yeah, around. Yeah, we'll yeah. say it like it is. We're not gonna like let yeah. you get away with shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, what am I dealing with? This man. So he's like, I don't know if I want to continue this relationship or not. I'm like, I said, I, I just let you fuck me in the butt. Yeah. And then he this said, doesn't okay. end till I say so. Yeah. So though, this is what happens. So then he's like, because he kept, he keeps, he's still texting me. I'm not going back with him. I don't. Want How to long talk. ago was this? Like a few weeks, two weeks ago. Oh, okay, all right. So no, you're going back. And then I, I don't <laughs> want. She's gonna wait till this election is done. 
And then I don't want to go with him. No, I'm like, and then he's you like, you need a cornball to walk around on yeah. in a suit. Yeah. You say that now, <laughs> but when you're looking to hear ACDC, you shook me all night, <laughs> all night long. The tribute band, you're like, A B C D E F, the band's name. Z Dirty it? Deeds, the uh, ACDC D-D tribute tops. band. She's yeah, DD Top, DD Top. top. <laughs> Con Jovi. Yeah. Con Job Jovi. <laughs> Oy vey. That is- so <laughs> you're not going back with him. So, so anyway, he- so he's totally like, I'm like, uh, then he a lot of me, drama over the phone. A lot of. I said I loved him, or I said I wanted him to say. I said if that's the worst thing I ever say to you. You're lucky, motherfucker. That's what I said <laughs> yeah. to him. I mean, really? Is that the worst thing I say? Is I, that's you not love me? terrible. That's yeah. not terrible. So I so anyway, bro, we end, then we got back. Then we were going to try to do it again. Then he broke plans with me. I'm like, it's over. I'm done. Mm. He goes, I don't want to drive over the bridge. I have to pay money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I said, well, you know what? After the ass. Then I said, huh? I'm done. I said, this is not working out for me. He goes, well, I want to do it. Let me tell you, you, me, uh, uh, you let me hit you in the ass. I'm, I'm I am. I am. That buys a lot of... You're hitchhiking. That's a, that's a lot of currency right there. You let me hit the ass. I, I, Doug, I'm, I'm riding a bike over the bridge. You, you're getting on the side of the plane like Tom Cruise Doug, in I'm, Mission I'm, Impossible? Yeah, I'm in. Just I'm hanging in. on the I'm side? In. I'm in. He didn't even, I mean, I didn't even feel, it feel like... It doesn't even feel good. Anyway, so yeah. for him, maybe. I, I don't know. He just liked the idea of it, like the invasiveness of it. So I, just, I think it's overrated in general a little is, bit. I just wanted but, to try it, and I was drunk I enough to try the, it. But it, yeah, it was, shut up, Harry. It's... <laughs> But I was so so anyway that was the end. So then I uh, we broke I, now up. Now we know where Dante stands on it. How Dante, Dante feels about like it. Anal Don't tread on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a snake in that. I gotta Poster. respect your rights. Respect the individual rights to choose. So so he 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 he, he told you he processed it. Right, and then I call, then he then he broke plans with me via text, and, and I said you couldn't even pick up the phone to break plans with me the same day we we're supposed to go out. I had I had to rearrange my schedule with my campaign, and you know I'm running for fucking office. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not, and I had shows that weekend. Yeah. Like I was, you know, I'm all over the place. Yeah, yeah. I said you're a pussy. Oh boy, you doubled that. I, that. And I wrote he, that. He goes, that was a pussy move. <laughs> That's what he wrote back. <laughs> He's like, I should have called you. And we picked up the phone. We had this re- inane discussion, and I'm like, "Well, he goes, well, I want." I said, "It's not working out for me." He goes, "Well, I want to date other people." I'm like, "I don't care what you do after this relationship. I just, I just broke up." With you. <laughs> I don't think you understand. You this said is over. We, we broke up. She <laughs> says, "Well, uh, I I want the bedroom painted that's blue." Like, that's, that's like going <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. Well, what about the benefits package? <laughs> <laughs> when do we go for lunch? What's my bonus? Yeah. What's what are we having at the company picnic? I don't give a fuck. You're fired. <laughs> Oh God! Oh my God! She's out of her mind. So, I love it. so you never really liked this guy to I begin with. So why do you think this is? This feels very. Even the telling was, of this story does well, not feel here, like. He wasn't here. You know, he wasn't here for like ten days in the, in, within the month. But then he came. You know, we had some nice dinners, and it was. I don't. I mean, when you I really, just enjoyed doing some shit. I did. I, I was. I'm like, I didn't have a social. You just like having activities Stacey to do. Like, yeah. I'll tell you what, Stacy. Stacy likes a strong dude. I can gather, she, yeah, yeah. Stacy wants a a, a a a good dude with a, a third Neanderthal kind of caveman, yeah. but mm. not, you know. Smart. They have to be smart. Somebody and somebody who doesn't want to process it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't have to hit her over the head with a club. Like, oh, accept yeah. me. Like, let me be a little bit weird. Let yeah. me like express myself. Like, don't take me so seriously. Yeah. When I don't want to be taken, th- when I'm drunk. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, was I beat? Like, my ex-husband, believe it or not, mm-hmm. is you know he was a soft guy, but he was strong. Yeah, he wasn't Neanderthal, but he was very strong. Why did Why did you, you guys we not just, work we grew, out? We just grew apart. I didn't. Mm. Yeah, I knew that was going. But work. we were. But, <laughs> but when it worked, it worked. I mean, we what did he do? Yeah, yeah. He was a comedian. He was a comedian. Oh, he was a comedian. Okay. But, but he, he wasn't. He I wasn't. Guy? He uh-huh. didn't go hard like Stacy went. Like he was comedian. Would I know him or no? He was funny yes. though. Tim yes. was a funny dude. Yeah, Tim. Good writer. Oh, you will name. Oh, you will name names. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, Tim yeah. Omian. Yeah, my ex-husband. I'm, I'm on you, but he didn't go hard yeah. like Stacy. Like no, Stacey no, was Stacey trying was... to get it. Yeah, yeah. Like I used to you run into Stacy. Yeah, like no. he he was kind of like fu- he was. He was funny. in it. He was in it. Yeah, but, but he not, wasn't all like, the way. Everybody's not built for this life. No. But he's a road guy. He likes yeah, yeah. the road. He loves the road. He's happy where he is. Yeah. You know, he's a different type of comic than me. But we, but we, but he's t- he was tr- he put up with me, in a way. We, he fought me. He knew how to. He, he didn't have to process anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know. I can't, so I this mean, is interesting because this is a perspective that lets me know that some women are aware that they put up. They create a little bit of problems. an issue. Yeah, yeah. So Stacy is admitting like she creates a little bit of tension. But I was drunk. 
Oh, I also didn't know well, him. Well, I don't well. mean in that and situation. I, to push, I just you mean know, in general. If you're gonna like act like you you telling me it's the last stop on the train or uh-huh. whatever that is, this is the, the lovey last, dovey stuff. The last stop. Like I'm gonna call you out. Like you, he, what he should have said is like, well, you know, I'm not there yet, but I'm feeling really strong feelings. Or this is like the second stop on the train. Yeah, yeah. This is like I have a lot more stops to go. <laughs> I got a lot more. Again, I, weird. After the anal, I'm on the lo- we got more I'm stops. On, I'm on the local. Just so you know, this train's going express. <laughs> I'm on the local. I have a lot of... Yeah. But I mean, it's, it was a very, you know, and I, I, the relationship before but that... You, was, but the, the thing you touched on, which I think is interesting, you you said you like pushing buttons. What's that not about? Not on purpose. When hmm, I don't... Okay. No, I, I don't want to push your buttons, but hmm. when my... When but I, you will. No, well... Is it... If is I feel it, you're not getting it, I'm going to fucking kill you. Push okay, your fucking is it, buttons. Is it, is, it, is it that if you think the guy's too weak, then you push the buttons? I don't know if the word weak or weak is the or word. I don't trust. Well, that's weak. Both, but weak or trust, yeah. Weak is if is it's full of shit, basically. I'm gonna fucking then you, then push you, you over the edge until you your shit is all over you, and then you're gonna be like, oh. You know that I'm makes gonna, sense. Uh, yeah. Well, let me tell. I'm gonna tell you something. And, yeah. And I was I was talking to a friend of mine, um, today. In fact, any super talented dude. Uh, sings, dances, writes music, plays instruments, but um, good friend of mine, but was always kind of a liar. Like, Ooh. oh, I tell you, I have a, a liar, a great story about uh, uh, that. After, and I said, I, and he's he's because he hangs out with me a lot. He's he's grown a lot in terms of being um, being more honest. And what I was explaining, liar. To, but what do you mean by liar? Give me so example. when we were kid, when we were young, we were, I've known him thirty years. When we were twenties, like um, we would be together, and he would be like, "Oh, when does your album drop?" And we're like, "Motherfucker, you ain't got no you album." You don't got no like, fucking <laughs> album. What the fuck album? <laughs> but when later, but he, but he, he, I've always got on him, like to make himself look better, or just yes, right, yes, just okay. insecure and trying to make himself look better, but not like a crazy person. But he was lying. really dope. Already, right. like if he had just went with what he had, it, it, he was still dope. Um, but it was, it was, but you know, you find these dudes they're insecure, and because they're insecure, so so I, there's a thing I always say. You know, you, you go on a dating app, and a guy's five four, but he puts five six. It's because he doesn't think that five six is enough. He thinks. Two inches is gonna make. If I'm just this guy was short, by the way. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> so that's okay. exactly how tall he was. Five four. He's shorter than you. I'm five two. So, okay. but I wear heels a lot. And yeah. So, so you probably. Was, I but, don't care, but I don't give a shit but, about but that. But if you, if you, it's almost like in their mind they're going, if I was only two inches taller, I, everything would be fine. But no, it's it's not the two inches. It's everything well, else. Well, it depends where the two inches are. Well, fair enough. That's true. Fair enough. Two inches can't make a big difference. Fair enough. Fair enough. But, uh, but... Especially I, I, the way Stacy fucks, apparently. Yeah, well... The two I mean, inches two is a inches, big deal. Two inches is good for <laughs> anal sex. You want to... You might want to... That's all I need. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't want it bigger than that. <laughs> like, like it's a girl who wants to lose that, that five pounds because they think the guy's not going to like her. Right, Same right. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's it's minuscule and you think it's important, but they don't even... No one even, knows. Nobody knows. Like, you have nice tits. That's all I care about. So, yeah. I, I said to him, I said to him, I said today, I was like, do, do you understand that being authentic, being truthful, being credible, when you open your mouth and you say things, the people around you know that you mean what you say and there's no question, uh, no, no question about whether or not you're being truthful. I go, you understand that your, your words carry power because you don't waste them and you don't you don't give them away randomly and you don't say things that are not true. That is the the the, 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 the great thing about truth. It makes it gives your your it gives your your words gravity. So I, I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, uh, he he was in a bar and he borrowed some money from me, right? And he I didn't really have it to give, but I gave it to him because he was in a bind game and then he told me, yo, I'm going to be back. He was in he was in the Dominican Republic, stuck in the Dominican Republic. So I sent him money for a ticket to get back and stuff and ship his stuff. And I and he came back, and uh, he didn't uh, – and I said, well, we're, look, I really don't have this money, so when am I going to get it back? And he told me, look, I'm, I'm going to get back. I'll straighten things out. I'll have the money back. I'll be back on Monday. I'll have the money for you by Thursday. Thursday comes and gone. 
Next Thursday comes and gone. August comes, September, October, November, right? Finally, I, and I'm calling him like maybe once a month. Yo, where's my money? Where's my money? Right? <laughs> You're never going to get that money. Well, mm. <laughs> so uh, I call him one day randomly, like maybe 8 o'clock in the evening, and he had the phone in his pocket, and for some reason the phone, maybe the friction from him walking picked up the phone, and I could hear him walking, the like I hear him walking and be, and so in my mind I was like you you getting my calls you're not yeah. taking them you're just not taking them right and for you to be in a bind like he was stuck in the Dominican Republic without a way to get back and I it just I just felt like he had taken advantage of me and so I left him a message I said listen I know at the time he was DJing I said I know where you DJ right Uh-oh. every Thursday <laughs> I know you're at this club and I know if you're not there to Tomorrow night, you'll be there the week after or the week after because I know this is how you make your money. I said, I'm coming. If I don't hear from you, Uh-oh. I'm coming. I would want that call from Dante. I'm coming for your, to your club, right? The first thing I'm going to do, you have, I'm knocking your bouncers out. As soon as I walk up, they're going to ask me for that, and I'm cold cocking both your bouncers because the reason being, I'm not fighting these guys afterwards. So I'm going to knock them out first. I said, I'm going to come in. I'm kicking both your bass <laughs> bottom speakers in. And then you know how DJs use their laptop. And I'm ripping your laptop in half. I like how then I'm going to punch it, you in your fucking mouth. In the right? middle of threatening them, you're giving them specifics. I'm going to tear apart the subwoofer. <laughs> okay? I'm going to bust up the treble. <laughs> I'm going to rip up all your XLR cables. He had and those then the whole, headphones are going to be around yeah. your neck. He had those whole, you know, he had the big bass bottom. Yeah, so yeah. you come and you put a foot right in there. It's done. Done. It's done. You're going to you super rip, kick you his bass your, bottom. You take your, I, your, your, your MacBook, rip it in half, yeah. then I'm going to punch you in your fucking face. I wouldn't want that call. He calls me up. He goes, oh, why, are you, why are you talking to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what's this all about? <laughs> I go, huh? where's all this negativity coming from? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking ki- Why am I fuck? I go, he goes, look, where, where are you at? I'm bringing you some money right now. So I said, you know where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> so he knows your house. He, of course. We've known each other for years. So he, call, he, he, he about an hour later, he comes, he brings me half the money. So I'll have the rest of it for you tomorrow. Oh, boy. I said, I hope you have it for me tomorrow. Because next Thursday, you I'm going to knock party night. your bounce. <laughs> <laughs> next Thursday, house party Thursday. <laughs> He paid me back, um, and I said, I'm going to do you a favor. I said, because what he used to do... Now you're not friends with him anymore, I'm assuming. We've, we've kind of resolved it for, for time. No, but So I said to him, I said, your word means nothing. And I go, when your word means nothing, you, you, what you do is... So what he would do is he would do these parties where he would take 500 people to the Dominican Republic. Or he would take 500 make a people, lot of money. But he would fuck up the money somehow, and he would always borrow from Peter to pay Paul. So he he would have pyramid a, scheme. Was it the fire? Not, the fire it festival? Was like the fire, but yeah. like he just would fuck up this, and then he would have he to. He spent take the, it. He spent he, it on himself. He just was shitty at organizing mm-hmm. and stuff, because he was he was insecure. So like he would hire uh, Tommy Davidson, like and pay him a couple. A couple thousands thousands. Of dollars. And well, then, you didn't and, have to do that necessarily. And then, he would, and then he would have Tank come and sing and come on the show, like do a ski trip. And so it was always trying to impress people instead of trying to make the money. Right. But when, you, when, you, when you're doing these trips for poor people, people who don't really can't afford it, you have a pay schedule. So there's, you pay $150, then by June you got to pay another $250. Right. And they, and because they can't really afford a vacation. Right. But so if your he word get that means, money early and then right, just, but if, if, yeah. you, if your word doesn't mean anything, you you you're literally acting as a bank for people. Right. So then it, the I said you understand that the minute your word means nothing, your business is over. Right. Because you it's not like you're doing trips where somebody hires a trip and they pay the all that what they, you're asking people to trust you. So if they can't trust you, they can't. And so he he um. He had a, the next week he had a, another party that he was taking a bunch of people to the Dominican Republic for a jazz fest. And he called up the guy from the last hotel that he fucked up. And he said, listen, I was talking to my boy and I just wanted to bring you some money. I wanted to send you some money. He says, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm coming down there and I just wanted to make sure I took care, you know, at least paid you some of the money. And the, the hotel guy said, 
I'm happy that you called me. Mm. He said, because all the hotel owners, we know each other. They all mm. talk, yeah. He said, if you wouldn't have given me this money, you would have brought 500 people to the Dominican Republic and they would have had no place <gasps> to stay. Yeah, I had already fixed it wow. with the other hotel owners yeah. that when you came, none of your reservations were, were going to be, be valid. Can you imagine 500 people? You would have been killed. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Dominican Republic. That is a secondary solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's a like, second you, phase. You, 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 you. Yeah. And and he and he called me up and he said, "Man, I really appreciate you. Uh, I really appreciate you telling me that." And, and and he told me the story that he paid the guy. He gave the guy a couple thousand dollars and the guy. And he it was always able, catches up to you eventually. It always catches up. So the, the honesty is so important. Well, I have a story, a really crazy story. You want go to tell me. Do we have time? I don't know if we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have time. Uh, I, I got up. Well, we have I, like, time, and then we'll go over the Patreon. How quick? Sure. You, so uh, he's. I want to say. So he yeah. called me up. I said, but understand something. I'll never give you. Don't ever ask me for anything again. No, that right. would never happen. So he again. called me up and he said that his daughter was in a bind and blah 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 blah. He says, listen, I need $250. I, he goes, I know we talked about keeping my word and telling the truth. He goes, I promise you. And I said to him, I said, listen, we've been friends for 30 years. I go, I don't trust you to not wreck our friendship for $250. I don't even, I don't trust you to do that. Right. And he goes, oh, I'm really in a bind. Could you really, man, I'm really pleased. I go, look, dog, I don't even want to give you the opportunity to fuck up the relationship, that the 30-year right. friendship down the road. And sure enough, gave him the 250 and he fucked me again. And it was it was only $250. So, I, I mean. It wasn't going to break or break you, but still. It's but mine. it was killing me. The idea he, of it. That he couldn't. Like, that he would literally risk a 25, 30-year friendship over $250. Cause he, cause, and then I, 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 but I just, instead of ripping his laptop in half, and I just, I just, the best $250 I ever spent. You lend somebody money, you never have to hear them from them again. That's, they always, they always, the best way to get rid of somebody. You're done. But you people don't understand that the gravity of your, your, your so it's, it's interesting how sexy that is to a woman when the guy says what he means and he means what he says. Right. Like, he could have just been honest and been like, I'm not there yet. You're drunk. Let's talk about this tomorrow. Right, right, right. I'm going to go to sleep. But he got, like, angry with me. And then now he's still he's still texting me. I'm like, I'm, how are you feeling? How is your debate? I'm like, and I've been very polite, but I'm like, I don't, I'm like. But I'm, why are you being polite? Let me ask you that. Because I just, I don't. Is this the way you are? That's the way I am. It's like, I don't want to be a dick, but there's no reason not to be a dick because we talk. We talk things out, but I don't want to go back. I don't want. Yeah, but here's here's my. Thing. He wasn't I, feeling so good today. And, and so I, wants, I, I say this to Harry all the time. I said, you know, assholes have no problem being assholes. Yeah, you're right. And then and and then when you check them, then you're oh, how could you do this to me? But and Harry will tell you, I'm always the dude. Oh oh, this is what we doing. Mm. Okay, let me let me show you how you let how me it's show done. You, let me show you the biggest asshole, and I'm. All, like and everybody jumps on me because I'm always you know, I don't, like, not anymore. Well, not, well, he used to he used to go. Uh, you know, it's a little. Come on. Uh, and now he goes. Now he goes. Uh, I enjoy the show. <laughs> I just sit back and enjoy the show. Now Harry goes. I, I don't know if you want to do that. Yeah, bro. This, you ain't gonna like how this turns out. <laughs> but what's what's what I find is those. So, like I'm 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 50 years old. So me too. So my thing is I've seen more sunsets that I'm gonna see right mm. I'm not wasting time with your bullshit no more yeah I mean I don't need to hear how are you doing how is your debate I'm like you're, you know I'm like what, what why you're gonna come to my like what do you want from me like, and you don't even want you don't you don't even want to be around him. I don't he's a pussy I, right, it's not like he's not a he's not my friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He just wants my connect. You know, people want your connections. Do you think that's what it is? It's the connections, or yeah, like I put him on Twitter and he got ten followers. All my friends, you, yeah. you know, ten followers. <laughs> <laughs> got big connections. Jeez. Good I'm fucking so Stacy Preston. Um, she got that Stacy. the big wig. Brussman like bump. The, you got the ten <laughs> followers. No, but you get what I'm saying? It's like. I, I'm like, what am I going to be? I mean, he was just being polite, but I, yeah. but do I just cut him off and never speak to him? Do you? Wanna, I did that before. Do no, you want to talk to him? No, I don't. Then why would then you why talk, would you why talk would you to him? Talk you don't to have to talk to him. Yeah. Why would you look? It was literally a four-second thing. Do you think you're gonna you're gonna you think you're gonna live till a hundred? I hope so. Not I mean, much. but uh, realistic. Hopefully, 85, 90. Oh, okay. okay, so what I'm saying is, I'm, when I say I've seen more sunsets than I'm going right. to see this, I have less days left than I have. Right. Why would I waste that? Right. Right. Why would I waste four minutes 
on somebody right. who's not worthy. And and this is not even something that you like. You don't even really like. No, I'm just being polite. I was just being polite. I'm a polite For person. For what? Yeah. If somebody you don't have tells to be me polite. I have to process this and you hurt my blah, 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 and I, I'm not interested, fuck no, you. No, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to go back with him. I'm just, I was just like, I'm like, why is he still bothering me now? That's what I, well, uh, because he still yeah. wants to fuck you. Yeah. That's I not mean, gonna happen. that's really, yeah. Yeah, well, well, we'll wait till that election. Oh, he wants that next, that another, you gotta, another 10 person he wants bump a on his, yeah. he wants bedroom. another 10 person bump on, the, on his Twitter followers. <laughs> Who doesn't want to have anal sex in Gracie Mansion? And 10 Stacey, more followers. Yeah, and 10 more followers. That's, that's a win-win uh, on all levels. So I, I just, I don't have the time. I, I actually walked out on a relationship after a year. This okay. Is a crazy, I want to hear about this, but yeah. we have to go okay. over to Patreon. We to because Patreon. We, we've run out of time on, on the regular show. You can find your glasses. Dante, if you could... Uh, rest. Stacey, first, uh, let me plug your uh, your website and your uh, stuff. Uh, Pressmanformayor.com, or for those that don't spell P, the number 4 M dot NYC. Uh, to go to my campaign website and donate money. We need money to buy advertising and to win the election. And what is the election, by the way? P-R-U-S-S-M-A-N-4 F-O-R M-A-Y or.com or for those that want to not type a lot p the number 4 m dot n-y-c Cool, cool. And uh, when is this election? Out. The election is November 2nd. November 2nd. All right, everybody. Yeah. And have then time I'm to support. Going away. Listen, if you know nothing about our policies and you got to vote, I mean, who are you going to vote for? Somebody Andrew does, Yang? Yeah, What's he going to do? He doesn't do anything. He's not running. He's not running. <laughs> it's me. It's uh, six people. You're not going to get that 10, 10 person bump on your Twitter yeah. from Andrew Yang? Let me ask you this. How many of the mayoral candidates do you know that are willing to have survived anal sex? Not, a, not many. I'm How many? Say. I don't think any of them have. Yeah. Maybe Eric Adams. Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe Eric Adams. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Eric, he's uh, um, uh, Harry, talk to me. Uh, you go to my social media. Not like you guys. <laughs> you haven't yet. It's been nine years. Well, who am I kidding? At Harry Turjanian. It'd be nice if some of you checked it out, but let's be honest, you don't. Uh, <laughs> at Harry Turjanian is all my stuff. That's right. Uh, y'all here. know me. Uh, Dante Nero, whatever. Check, check me out. Um, everything Dante Nero. Man School 202. Don't forget it, man. If you like what we're doing, man, please sign up for the Patreon. It's, it, it helps us keep doing this if you like the That's content right. that we're putting out. Really appreciate y'all. Um, at uh, Man School uh, 202. Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Slash, slash Man School 202. 202. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante yep. do? The Sexual Revolution be a podcast. Yo, I love y'all, man. Thanks for listening. Um, and we're going to go talk about this some more shit behind the. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a couple stories. More stories from the lovely, the talented, the crazy Stacey Pressman. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy.